guys, welcome to Steve Red's house. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I hope things are going right for you today. Um, today, I don't have the pellet gun out here. Uh, not doing weird chemical reactions, making cantaloupe smoke bombs or something like that. Today is really simple. We've been really busy trying to get things ready for our vacation coming up, trying to set things up. We were originally set up to go to Port Aransas. Um, hurricane really messed up Port Aransas and a lot of South Texas. So we think we're probably going to need some time to get everything up and running there. So we have switched our vacation spot. We are going to go to Hot Springs, Arkansas and probably do some fishing up there. Um, I was really looking forward to doing some um, saltwater fishing, especially from what I hear. Um, the reds are moving in really good this time of year at, at Port Aransas, so I was really looking forward to that, but we'll probably hit that next year. Um, today I was going through my, my storage shed and pulling out some old fishing stuff, and these things have been in there for years. Um, when I lived in East Texas, I used to go fishing all the time. Since we've moved up here in the city, I hadn't really had a chance to do it much. These things have been sitting in storage for a long time, so I'm going to tear the line off of them, put new line on them, um, probably take them apart and see how they're working, uh, make sure everything's greased, make sure I don't have any spider webs or bugs caked up in there somewhere. Um, I also told you at one point in time when I put the video when we brought Patches home that I'd give you an update on her from time to time to let you see how she's doing. Well, here she is. So she usually doesn't dig in the yard, but I guess she knew I was fixing to turn the camera on, so she starts digging. What are you doing? So now she's trying to dig out of the yard, I guess. What are you doing? But as you can see, she is gaining a little bit of weight, getting a little bit bigger. She's already lost her baby teeth, getting her big girl teeth in now, and apparently has developed a need to dig. We'll have to cover that hole up here in a minute. Covered it up, and she went and dug it right back up. But she is doing really good, gaining weight. She has a unlimited amount of energy. Get her going, she's running like rampant around the yard. Now she's just being playful. We'll come back to her in a little bit. So I've been wanting to get the rod and reels out and go through them just to see if they're even functionable for a while. Hadn't really had a chance to do it with kind of the crazy schedules we've been having here lately and everything else we got going on. Um, even the day it's five o'clock or a little bit after five o'clock right now in the afternoon and I'm just now getting started on this um, had a lot of things to do Elena is at work today um, so I'm being nice I even did some of the laundry did my work clothes I know what you're thinking wow you're such a nice guy she's really lucky to have somebody like you you know what I agree with you um, I wonder if she agrees with that maybe we'll ask her later Okay, so this is what I'm working with here. This is an old Wanham Light bait caster sitting in on a lightning rod. This thing has not been used in quite a few years. If you can see, it is very dirty, very dusty. That line on there is about 10 years old, so definitely have to take that off. Kind of the same thing with this one. I have really don't remember the last time I used this, but it it definitely looks pretty grody. Um, see if you can see the front of it here. I need to take these things off the rods. It is really very dusty. Um, same thing with that line. I have no idea how old that is. Um, this one is Elena's, just a little simple rod and reel. And I don't even know if it's got line on it. If it does, it's been in there for a long time. So I am going to pull these things off the rods just to make it easier and get all this line off of it and check it out and put some new line on it. Okay, so I got the rods off of these things, got them separated, and her little rod and reel here. This thing has never been off that rod. Still had this around it, holding it on there. Um, it was bought as a combo. I guess that was just put on there to get, keep people from separating them. Um, that thing has never been off, and I actually think that thing is probably older than my son. And he's 20 years old. I'm not sure yet. I don't remember when she got it, but it's definitely been around for a while. 
So what I'm going to do now is just try to get all the get all the line off of it. Um, one thing to remember on this, guys, I know I'm doing this at home, so it's just going to end up in the trash, but if you ever have to change your line at, at the lake, when you're out fishing somewhere, river, pond, whatever, do not throw this line in the water. Um, that just causes all kinds of havoc on the marine life in the water. So do not do that. Put it in something, put it in the boat, throw it away when you get back. Please do not throw that in the water. I know there's probably a lot quicker ways to do this. I know they make little things to put on there that just rips the line off of them. Um, I don't have one of those. So I just got to do it this way. Okay, so I got all the line off of them. If you can see, I got kind of a pile of line sitting there. So on this first one, this little, this little one that she has here, um, the inside of it actually looks pretty clean. Um, still got the grease on it. It's not all dirty. It's not all nasty. So we'll put that one back together and we'll go on to the next one and see what it looks like. Um, this handle, um, the reel on it was bent a little bit. I had to bend that back out. It wouldn't turn at all. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so I did something really stupid. I tied the line on it here, getting really, getting ready to reel it in, and cut the wrong part off went to part the little cut the little tail off of it and cut the one off going to the spool so that was majorly intelligent let's try it again and see if maybe i don't screw that up again um, i know this camera might look a little bit different the one i was using popped up and said read error on the on the memory card so i guess it's done hopefully i can get something off of that one so i got my son to help me put some line on them just put the old pin through the spools and reel them up so they've all three got new line on them and put them back on the reels and put them back up for a month and they should be ready to go. And then I forgot about something else I needed to do. Okay, well we've had some storms kind of move through here and finally got some rain in here and sidewalk looks all nasty, driveway looks all nasty. And if you can see right here, this stuff has grown up quite a bit. So. We're going to get rid of that today. Clean the sidewalk off today. Wow, I still got some daylight. Then I got to get the, oh, let me find my words here. Got to get the grill going and get supper going for everybody. Yeah, so this has kind of been my day just things I had to do around the house a little bit of yard work a um, little bit of housework and got the grill going um, get supper going and then I'm gonna go through my tackle box and see what all is in there see if anything is salvageable everything in that tackle box has been in there for a long time so I may have to trash all of it and just start completely over um, we'll see you again here in a little bit mm-hmm don't those look tasty? In case you're wondering what kind of spices I put on these, I'm not going to tell you. That's my secret. You have to take my word for it though, these are going to be tasty. Alright, got new light on the reels, got the reels back on the rods. Now I'm going to go through my tackle box and see what it looks like inside of there. But here's the rods. All fresh, new line on it. I put the line back in here. See, this tackle box is kind of crusty. I don't even really know what's in here or what kind of shape it's in, but uh, got some crappie jigs, various hooks, some worm weights. Different spinners, buzz bait, 
skirts look like they're not terribly tore up probably have to change those out anyways here's another skirt some weights binoculars scale for the one that just swallows the hell out of it some wire leaders so let's see what's in the rest of it now this might be boring you but I'm just curious what I got in this thing it's been a while since I've seen the inside of it let's see of various hooks, weights, pull this one out, that one looks like jigs, yep, some of my jigs, different things, smell a little funky, I don't know if I need to replace all them or not, you can tell these things have been in here a while. Look, these things have already kind of changed color a little bit. Usually when you get them, they're not all white. And the same thing with these. I don't know how good it's showing up on the camera. But, let's go for the next one. So as you can see, I don't have a real diverse setup here. Um, that is a very old hula popper. Should have a skirt on it. That is a very old lure right there. This one, I don't even know if I've ever thrown this thing in the water. We might try it though. This thing is ancient. Look at this. Wow. Another ancient one. I had this thing when I was a teenager. And I still have this thing in here. Wow. Of course, very other, various other baits in here. A couple of rattle traps. Spoons. Smaller rattlers. Different depths of crankbaits. Well... I guess that's about all I got in there. If anybody's watching this and you're an avid fisherman and if you've ever dealt with anything that's old and been sitting around like that, let me know. Do you actually think it'll work? Do you think I need to throw everything away and get new stuff? What do you think? All right, supper is done. We've already ate. It was great. Burgers tasted great. Thank you very much for asking. Um, got new line on the on the reels got that all put up went through the tackle box um, I have no idea what effect it has with stuff sitting in there for so many years I don't know if it creates some kind of weird smell or taste that the fish are gonna run away from um, if you guys experience anything like that or you know leave me a comment let me know because I really don't have a clue um, it's pretty much been my day to day it is about 15 till 11 right now at night i've got to get up in about seven hours so about time for me to shut it down but hope you guys enjoy the video hope you guys had a great day um hope you're enjoying your life hope you're happy hope you enjoy the video please like it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you guys for watching and we will see you later